Good morrow, gentle primates. I hope you're alive and well, and it is a beautiful day wherever you are in the world. Let us add some materials today, okay? We're going to add some color to these sons of guns and roses. Uh, you know how to add materials, okay? You can add them down here and, uh, you know, call it whatever you want to. Um, we're also going to mess with the shader editor today because practice makes, um, practice makes good. We're just going to run through it one by one. You do need a reference, and this is where you can really be creative. Let your light shine, okay? Any color palette you want to run with, that's fine. If you want your spacesuit to be tie-dye, I celebrate your choices. Uh, personally, I'm going to run with the Earthworm Gym standard operating procedure of a spacesuit. This was one of the video games. This was like the first video game I fell in love with as a kid. I think it was in fourth or fifth grade, and uh, Doug Tenaple just weaved together, wove woven together, wove, it was woven, the tale was woven, um, just a wonderful story of just this worm who finds this magic spacesuit and goes on a quest to save a beautiful princess who's also a bee and a scarecrow's the bad guy. Doug Tenaple, if you're watching this man, I would absolutely love an original piece, an Earthworm Jim drawing to add to my, my, my collection. I would hang that on my wall with pride. So if you're watching this, get at me, man. What we're doing, if you've made it this far in this tutorial, you should just be able to follow along and watch what we're doing. Okay. And here we got the holster and I'm going to, I'm going to go with that rich. It's almost like a pathalo blue or a thalo blue. If, if your peas are silent and just like that, very, very quickly, we have a nice functioning, uh, colored materials that are pretty. Um, here, I, I, I didn't really like the gold. I wanted, instead of, of running with the gold, I wanted to make like a, like a chromy metal silverish. Okay. So now we're going to do that. Let's jump into the shader editor and, um, we're going to just eliminate the principled BSDF. And instead we're going to add a glossy BSDF. Okay. And very quickly, we're going to create like a chrome material. We're going to add a color ramp. Okay. And just invert this. All right. Okay. First connect the layer weight. Great. And then connect the color. Okay. And you can see it's already silverish here on the black, make the black white. Okay. Just like that. And then with the white, make the white black and that inverts it. And just like that, in about five seconds, we have this really rich, silvery, reflective chrome, metal chrome. And that's what I want to use um, for my base. So I, I had the idea of using blue and gold. I tried it. I didn't really like it. So instead I ran with um, blue and silver. Um, and then I can take this material and add it to the dials on the helmet and the connector piece that connects the helmet to the visor. All right. So just like that, we have added materials to our model. We'll do the glass because the glass on the visor actually is a little bit tricky. We'll do that in another one down the road. Um, you can make your helmet any color you want to. I just went standard issue white, but you can see in, in just a few minutes without trying very hard, we have added materials to our spaceman and our spacesuit. So high five everybody and, uh, go play Earthworm Jim and Doug to Naple. Uh, get at me, man. And we'll see you in the next one.